I was asking him if I haven't tested the spirits enough about all this prophecy. It is good for us to always be checking with the Lord. Other Christian videos were making me doubt, specifically one that used sarcasm to pick on Watchmen and talk about how big of a problem we are. I've always personally had a hard time with sarcasm. I was quickly sent straight to Romans 12, 6 through 8. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, each of us is to exercise them accordingly. If prophecy according to the proportion of his faith, if service in his serving, or he who teaches in his teaching, or he who exhorts in his exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. And Ephesians 4.11 And he gave some as apostles, and some as prophets, and some as evangelists, and some as pastors and teachers. It was so kind and loving of him to comfort me in this way. I know the last real title of prophet was to John the Baptist, and now we have these gifts from the Lord. It has nothing to do with us. It all points to him, and his word is always what we check things against. Always. I was asking him to be clear with me, and he sent me to Joshua 4.19. Now the people came up from the Jordan on the tenth of the first month. He is still sending me to a message of going up. The Jordan River, since Bible times, has had powerful symbolic meaning. It is a boundary and a crossing point, a metaphor for spiritual rebirth and salvation. The mention of a boundary reminds me of the restrainer, and of course birth makes me think of the birth pangs I believe we are in. But yes, we must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. And if I asked him to be specific, did he share the first month for a reason? I don't know, but he also sent me to First Chronicles 12.15. These are the ones who crossed the Jordan in the first month, when it was overflowing all its banks, and they put to flight all those in the valleys, both to the east and to the west. Wow, there it is again. And I had a few previous videos mention the first month as well. Are we going to put to flight soon, Lord? He also gave Amos 7.12. Go, you seer. Flee away to the land of Judah, the land of praise. And there eat bread, and there do your prophesying. Do you see what he continually has me say? Let us go. Let us flee away. Let us wait continually for his return, people. He is coming. Let us stop calling others false prophets unless they are actually leading people away from the Lord. We are not to despise prophetic utterances. And let us not quench the Holy Spirit, but examine what they say. Have kind conversations with them and try to have understanding for one another. For no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Maybe God is trying to use some of his people with this gift to warn others. Let us stop quarreling. Love each other. Yes, that love includes accountability, but don't just judge before you even bother to listen. P.S. Just like some so-called Christians or churches can make other real Christians look bad, I believe this applies to all the gifts as well. It's not fair to lump everyone in together and expect perfection without grace. Pastors get put on pedestals and it hurts them. Have grace. Teachers get things wrong and need space to make it right without everyone ditching them. Discernment is to be checked with the Lord and His Word as well. Yes, if watchmen share prophecies from the Lord, check them. 
But don't just shut your heart off in judgment without even getting to know where these people are coming from. Years ago, I personally was obedient to tear down the idols of yoga, stopping my practice, my teaching, and my business because I felt the Lord's leading. Then he called me to fast and pray. Then he started taking me straight to all these scriptures and asking me to share them, or there would be blood on my hands for not even trying. Tread lightly when you judge another man's calling, for you might be judged the same. Again, this has nothing to do with me. I am no prophet. I just share the verses he gives me. They are from him. Try to trust the Holy Spirit in your fellow man not in the man themself. Okay, rant over. Love you all. Maranatha.